This is Ed Rigsby here. I've got an idea for you. I'm the author of the ROI of membership. And in this book, I'm going to share one of the ideas. Um, here's the thing. I've been uh, getting a lot of requests lately from uh, connections on ASA's Collaborate as far as um, showing member value. And one of the challenges is um, uh, how do the uh, people in the association, the marketing department, the membership marketing department, the member recruitment department, all those people that are, are, are charged with, um, with uh, increasing the membership numbers, how do they show value? Well, the, um, for years with many of my clients, I've been having them create uh, what I call member ROI marketing brochures. Here's a few I just uh, about to throw them out at you. And, you know, what this is is a simple idea to where you take all the important elements that are important to, to your market, to the people that might become members in your organization, and you put it in just something, a, a, a simple brochure that makes it easy. And so think about it. So if you want your members to be member recruitment evangelists, you got to give them a tool. These are the tools. If you want um, your current members to renew, you've got to remind them every year why they're a member, you know, the what's in it for them. Here's the tool. You know, you drop this in uh, with your uh, mailed invoice. Now, if you're saying, well, you know, we don't do mailed invoices, we only do email invoices. Well, I don't want to get into a long discussion about member re uh, retention and member win back programs, but I trust you have some kind of a, a program like that where eventually you're going to have to mail something to them, and something like this might be very helpful. Those of you that are mailing invoices, if you threw something like this in with your invoice, it just reminds them the what's in it for them. Then you've got the membership marketing department. Okay, your membership marketing department, you know, not everybody in your department, you know, understands the concise and to the point, here's the what's in it for me, here's the, you know, the, the, the benefit, here's how it makes your life better to join. So here's, here's the answer to the question. And the question is, how do we recruit? How do we show, show more value? The answer is create a brochure. And it's really simple. On, and most of the brochures on the front of them, it's either going to say something like membership in your organization, it's a good business decision, it's a good career decision, it's a good financial decision, one or all of those things. On the inside, the very first thing you're going to talk about here is who you're trying to recruit as members. Make it real simple. You know, the other side here, and if you're not going to be able to read this, but um, let me just stop right here now. And if you want the template for producing this, um, all you have to do is send me an email, ed at rigsby.com. That's ed at r-i-g-s-b-e-e.com, ed at rigsby.com. And hey, send me an email. Just ask for the member recruitment uh, brochure template, and I'll forward it to you. And you know, simple as that. But here's... Here's why it makes it so easy for your member recruitment evangelists, or why it makes it so easy. And I'll just grab another one since this one is a trade association, this one's a professional society. So you know, this way I've got something for each. But if um, if if your members that try to help recruit new members. The thing is, is, is they, they need a tool, a crutch to help them. Now, I really think that you should have these hard copy printed. I know some people go, well, I want it as a PDF so I can have it on my tablet or on my phone or, you know, PDF so we can, you know, add it as an email, uh, attach an email. Yeah, okay, fine. Not a problem. Have a PDF. Um, but just remember this. Uh, only about 25% of your emails are open because if your open rate's more than 25%, you're amazing. And a lot of your members' uh, companies have filters to where attachments don't get through. So in addition to electronic, you really need hard copy printed. Because if, if I'm a member and I'm sitting across the table or I'm sitting at Starbucks or somewhere, I'm talking to a prospective non-member, I'm going to be able to go through this and explain to them, here's why membership in our organization is a good business decision. 
And, and I'm going to be able to go through, and the key is right here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer so you can read it. See, this is what the features of membership are and how much the members have set their work. Now, if you in the office say, well, the features of membership are worth X, Y, and Z, well, they may or may not be. But from a believability scale, people believe first what they create, they believe second what their friends, family, and colleagues create, and they believe third what an organization creates. If you're the staff, you're the organization, you're on the bottom of the heap as far as belief. So it's always better to use some kind of qualitative research. Uh, focus group methodology, I think it's the best. I believe it absolutely works the best to find out what your members believe is the value. So you're saying membership in an organization is a good business decision, it's a good career decision, it's a good financial decision. We're saying, you know, who we want, you know, I'll go with this brochure here, I like this one, you know, who we're going after, this one says, this is the roofing industry, we're going after roofing contractors, architecture engineers, manufacturers and associates. Real simple, real clear. This one, this one here says, that for every dollar you invest in membership, you get $42 back. It, it goes through and explains the actual dollar numbers. Then we go in here and we say in, uh, in what's in it for you, either the individual or your company. <clears throat> and the last thing we talk about is the industry. Now, too frequently, uh, organizations that are heavy in advocacy, they want to have everything on the front all about advocacy. And, and that's fine, you can do that. But if you make that choice, just remember this, you're leaving 80% of the people behind. Because every study I've found, everything I've looked at, says that advocacy, people join for advocacy and legislative, only 12 to 20% of the people you know, join for that reason. And, and it's higher in trade associations than it is in professional societies. So you're leaving all of these people behind. Why would you want to do that? And people go, well, but, but advocacy is important. Yes, it's important. But it's the last thing you talk about. Why? Because everybody in the industry gets that value, whether they're a member or not. Okay, duh. So what we want to talk about, what's listed here, is this is the stuff that you don't get if you're not a member. So when I'm talking to somebody and they say, oh, well, you know, uh, you know, come and join an organization, support our cause. And, and the person goes, eh, I can't afford it. And you suddenly go, okay, what else I got? Now what you've got is, well, hey, let's talk about why it's a good business decision for you, why it's in your best interest, why it's good for your career. And we go through, and our members have told us these various features of membership are worth this many dollars, this many dollars, this many dollars, in a real dollar number on an annual basis. Now you've got something. You've got something that you can use that it's hard for people to go, duh. Or if, if you have somebody that's going, well, I'm not going to use this one, this one, and this one. And you have your member recruitment advantage go, great, take a magic marker. Let's react. Oh, okay. For every dollar invest, you don't get $42 back. You only get $37. It's still a great deal. See, what you're doing now is you're just trying to get people to join to join. So tell them why it's in their best interest, how it makes their life better, how it puts money in their pocket. You know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've worked with association people and all they want to do is talk about features. Yeah, features. Nobody wants to talk about how it makes their life better because we have, we have to make that translation for the non-member. See, you know it, I know it, and we're so close to it, and sometimes we think, well, they should just understand. I'm here to tell you, they don't. They don't get it. And here's the really bad part. We're all compressed for time. And, and I don't want to say people are lazy, but people aren't going to take the time to create the translation for themselves. you got to do that for them. So let me help you out here. All you got to do, and it's going to cost you nothing, but uh, a couple seconds of your time, send me an email, ed at rigsby.com, ed at r-i-g-s-b-e-e.com. Ask for my member recruitment template. I'll send it off to you. It's a PDF. And you know something? I'm not going to spam you or anything like that afterwards, you know? It, it, so, so, so this will help you. Trust me. It will really, really help you. No matter what. No matter what you're doing now in marketing, if you can do a better job of telling people what's in it for them, they're going to come and join. Okay, 
this is Ed Rigsby signing off. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is uh, playing around with some new ideas for um, LinkedIn, uh, putting this directly on LinkedIn and uh, also on Facebook. So if you're watching this on LinkedIn, awesome. Um, maybe we should be friends if we're not. If you're watching this, not on Facebook, I'm sorry. If you're watching this on YouTube, do me a favor. Um, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm, I'm, I'm working hard now to grow my channel, and so I could use your help. Okay, well, so I'm going to say uh, thank you very much, and, um, and, and, you know, these are not hard to create. Do it. It will make such a difference. Okay, we'll talk to you later.